Dirt Smart. Tips and techniques for irrigation technicians, helping you save time and money. Pump Station Daily Check. In this video, David Sale of Eagle Pump Systems gives us his recommendations for a daily stop in the pump house. Information contained in this video shall in no way be construed that you or anyone on your staff is encouraged, authorized, or approved to carry out any action shown. The information discussed in this video is meant to be performed by qualified, professionally trained, experienced, and in some cases, licensed individuals. High voltage will kill you. You do not get a second chance. Topics discussed in this video. Check lights, switches, panels, and alarms. Check VFD display panels, main service disconnect, check surge protection device, check station pressure, check pump seals and or packing glands, listen to each pump's sounds, listen to each check valve for a hiss, check oil levels and motors, listen for water hissing through relief valve, check pressure gauge on filters, check flow meter totals, and check deck for standing water. Hi, my name is David Sale with Eagle Pump Systems and I'm here to talk to you today about pump station maintenance. So what I tell my customers is that every day somebody ought to stick their head in the door and just take a look at the station, see if there's any alarms, any water spraying somewhere it shouldn't be, or an electrical issue that you can get ahead of before you got a problem. Because you do, as everybody knows, you do not want a problem at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so the first place that you should come in and take a look, and it's quick and easy, is just take a look at your screen and see if you got an alarm. And different manufacturers have different ways to get to it, but you're usually going to end up with a red light or a warning of some kind. Uh, that's the best place to start. Uh, go from there. Uh, I've been to places where nothing's wrong except somebody came in and just hit a switch. And if you just come in and you look at those things, it just saves you a lot of headache in the long run. So in this instant, being a watertronic station, you just go to your main screen and then you can just press alarms. And if there's an active alarm, that will be flashing red. So you go to there and it will tell you what's going on. So if you've looked at your alarm panel and you've got an issue, and the next place I would always look is if you look through your windows, in this particular system there's actually three drives, but you'll be able to see that the drive is either red or it's going to be showing you an alarm when it's displayed. And that gives me a good knowledge or a good idea of what's going on when we talk on the phone. So I can open up the panel and show you what's going on internally with this. I don't suggest that you do it. I suggest that you give us a call if there's something going on in there. Uh, most of these systems are 480 volts and anything that you touch in there will kill you. Now I'm bypassing the safeties in order to do this to show you what's going on in here. It's not recommended. So now we're inside the cabinet and I just wanted to give you a better view of what you're looking at. Uh, these are the newer series drives and this is the area that would be red. In the older series drives, it would have a light for you and it would also indicate what that actual fault is. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up and there's one other item on this panel I'd like to explain to you. This unit here is your main service disconnect. This turns the power off to the pump station. But one thing you must remember is that even though this power is off, that the power that's coming into this cabinet is above this safety. And there is still 480 volts in this cabinet if you would ever open it up. And what you're looking at here is your surge protection for the pump station itself. Uh, you'll notice that there's three lights on there. If you go by it and you see it, that one of those lights is out, give us a call that needs to be replaced because at that point you're no longer protecting the system to its full extent. So as we continue this walk around, 
The next thing you're going to come up on would be your pressure gauge. Electronics is great, but a good old manual gauge can tell you a lot more sometimes. So the next thing you want to take a look at would be your packing. And in this particular case, this pump station is equipped with mechanical seals. So if there's any water coming out of these, it's an issue and needs to be addressed. Now your older pump station have what they call a packing gland, and that's where you have to adjust down the packings to keep the water from leaking out. And the main thing to remember about that is excessive water leak out of those packings will destroy and wash out the bearing in the lower motor. So it's worth taking the time to put a wrench on it and get it adjusted properly and clean out those ports. I see so many pump stations where the deck's rusting away, it was just because it was not a proper maintenance done to the packing glands on the pumps themselves. So then the next thing you want to do is just put an ear to it. You're going to be coming into this station every day or somebody's going to be coming in and you're going to get used to the sounds that that pump station makes. If you hear something in those motors or that pump that just doesn't sound right, it's worth making a phone call and let's see what's going on with it. So each one of these pumps has a check valve. And while you're doing your walk around with the pump station off, you'll be able to hear a hiss or you'll actually hear the water going past these if one of them has failed. So one of the things you also want to look at during your walk around is check your oil level in your motor. Uh, that oil line should be just above middle. Uh, if it's lower than that, uh, it needs to be added and you will uncover the bearing and you will make that motor fail. Most motors have a sight glass for the oil level for the upper bearing that is visible. So make sure to take a look at that, make sure it's got oil in it. Uh, there is a few manufacturers that do not have them. Uh, they, they've got grease fittings at the top. The oil that goes in these motors is a specialty oil. It's called an RO oil. It's got rust inhibitors and oxygen inhibitors in it, uh, oxidation inhibitors in it. Uh, so if the oil needs to be changed, and it should be changed once a year, uh, give us a call and we'll get that part of your service. And then the next place you want to take a stop and make a listen is right here at your clay valve. It's called a clay valve, it's called a pressure relief valve, but basically what this is here to do is if the system would overpressurize for any reason, it's going to dump that extra pressure back into your wet well. So you just want to take an ear to it, see if you hear any hissing, or hear any water going back down in the wet well. If nothing's going on, then it's okay to move on. So then as you're doing your walk around to the back side of your pump station, uh, in this case we've got two V1500 filters that cycle automatically and there's a couple things we can discuss in that in a future video about what you're looking for if we have a fault in that particular area. We're going to go through your smart meter in this case. Uh, it's your flow meter and that's giving you the reading that you're getting on your display as well as your flow totals for the year and the month. So as you're doing your walk around also just take a look at your deck and see if there's any water on that deck, something that's just not right. Uh, as stations get older they start to rust and you can get pinholes and other things that uh, can turn into a big problem fast.